So, Selena, I've heard the click of bowls on a summer afternoon over the fence. Who can forget the Commonwealth Games 1990, Millie Khan, Queen of the Green, the drama. Even my nana used to play, but I have never played. And now that I'm getting a little bit on and, you know, in years, I thought I'd give it a go. But here's the thing. You don't look to me like the archetypical lawn bowler. What's your story? I started bowling when I was 14. I've been representing New Zealand since I was 18. I also was a part of the 2014 Commonwealth Games team. Congratulations, did you get a medal? Yes, we did. Nice. And I also have two national titles. Far out. So clearly, Having a gold card is not mandatory to be a lawn bowler. No, it's definitely not. You know, at our recent Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast 2018, we had a 20 and a 22 year old bowler. So you clearly know a little bit about the sport. What's the basic idea? Well, basically what you want to do is get your bowl as close as you can to a target. And that target we call the jack. Depending what version of the game you're playing, singles, pairs, triples or fours, you can have anything from two to four bowls to deliver in an end. Right, so I guess you've got to get your aim and your distance right. It's a little bit like bowling a ball at a cricket wicket, except in your case you strongly encourage underarm delivery. Exactly. It's a game of line and length and a few other tactics, but we'll keep it simple for now. I think that is a very good idea. Let's start with the balls. The bowl. The bowl, the bowl. Here's the thing, it's not, it's not actually round. It's a little bit wonky, kind of elongated. Yeah, that's right. What you'll notice is that on one side there's a smaller circle, on the other side there's a bigger circle. Where the smaller circle is, it's heavier on that side. So that means when you deliver the bowl, it'll bowl with the smaller circle. Right, so there's a bit of a curve. I shouldn't really aim it straight at the little white ball. That's right. Depending on what side you're bowling, forehand or backhand, you'll aim to the right or left of the jack to have it draw around to it. Right, because you wouldn't want to make it too easy. But here's the thing that surprises me. Either I'm very frail or these are very heavy. No, you're not wrong. Our average bowl weighs about 1.5 kgs. So depending on what bowl you have, it could range from a double zero to a size five. Right, how do I know what the right size and weight is for me? Well, you really want the heaviest bowl that you can manage because the heavier the bowl, the more it's going to have control over impacts such as wind, bumps in the ground. It's just going to have a clearer, stronger line to the jack. As for the size of the bowl, there's this wee trick that we can do and that's to hold the bowl in both hands and try to get your thumbs to touch together and your middle finger. If they can reach, yep, perfect, just like that. Well, the sun seems about right for me. What is the proper way to hold it? A tip to holding it is to get the bowl, put it in your non-bowling hand. So let's say, for example, I'm a right-hander, so I'm going to put it in my left hand. You can see the playing surface there. You want to put your middle finger in the centre of the running surface, then your two fingers along the running surface, also in an equal way. Flip it over, put your thumb up as high as you can so it's comfortable and your pinky's there to really hold it into place. And you can have the thumb either up high, which is called the finger grip, along the side, which is called the claw, or down low, which is called the cradle grip. What about my little finger? You just leave that where it's comfortable. Right, which is about there. Yep. Let's bowl. So the main points about bowls are, you want them as heavy as you can manage, and the size that fits inside your ringed hands. And for the grip, middle finger along running surface, first and third fingers along grips, thumb at the side, do what you like with your little finger.